made it to the lake waiting for the rest of the gang to get out here so we can head out and catch the infamous burbot. Late in the season, burbot are starting to spawn. Gonna post up on a shelf, catch them in transition, moving from the deep water to the shallow water as the evening progresses. Sun is getting low, it's almost slime time. So we're gonna wait for the rest of the gang to get here, hop in the truck, venture out, see if we can't catch a couple bourbon. Let's go. Got the hub set up. We're gonna post up, wait for the pout to roll in. Magic should be happening here shortly. It's about 6.30, couple hours of grinding. Hopefully lace into a few. We're gonna get lines down. Just got a heater assembled. Let's see what we get. Boys over yonder got one. How big is it? My gut is deceiving. Oh. There's a crazy yellow spot on the other side of it. That's a pretty one, eh? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh. What happened, dude? Give out on you? Oh. Just talking about how sexy your legs are. Ooh, we're hooked up. That one was waiting for me down there. I was glowing up the spoon, saw a big mark on bottom, let her rifle down, and he hit it instantly. She's gonna do the dance at the hole. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, that's a fatty. Oh my goodness, that's got some pudge. Look at that fat sow. Holy smokes, they are just uh, an amazing critter. Look at that paint job, just marble. Sweet. Let me get her unhooked and get her back down to the depths. Big old cod. The great thing about getting out and chasing the pout is it's relaxing. We can have friendly conversations, right, Patrick? Correct. 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 Things are bitter in this house right now. I can smell the stale. Big heavy jig or spoon laying on bottom, bouncing up and down, drawing in some fish. And waiting, just waiting. The working man's fish, 7.30. Time we get out here, six? Yeah. I think we actually rolled up at six. Drilled some holes, set up the house. Yeah, I think we got three total. The boys next door got a couple, we got one. But it's still somewhat early. It's only 7.30. These pout could bite all night long. But I work tomorrow. So we're going to give her another hour at least, I would imagine. See if we can't get any more pout. A brush of the line. Really? Yep. <laughs> Here. Oh. What's that? There he is. What's going on down here? Oh yeah, he's coming back. He's coming back. Come on. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh boy. Oh, there's a mark. Who's he on? Doing hot laps down there? Oh, redemption. Just had one swipe you a minute ago. And we had another one. Yeah, it could have been a different fish that rolled through. Could have. This looks good. I got my drag. Yeah, this one's this nice. pretty good. One else. Dude, little butter ball. Look at that mud on that belly. Butter that fights back. Yeah. Such a pretty fish. Super underrated, underappreciated, but boy, are they fun to catch. He'll figure it out. Is he still trying? <laughs> I'm five. Oh, yeah. That's the pout handshake. Um, Came in and whacked you. Feels a little bit better than the last one. Well, let me give you a helping hand, sir. Oh, hey. We got a runner. What's going uh, on? Wow. We got beef. It's fed. <laughs> this is a, this a big one. Um. 
we got color. Andrew. Oh, 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 oh. oh easy now. That's a big burby. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Look at the color on that one. Yeah, they're all a little bit different. Let's compare here. Look at that color difference. Blondie and Burnett. That is wicked. They are just unique fish. So cool. Bye, sweetness. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, we got to do the bourbon handshake. The bourbon handshake. Patrick hooks up with another one. They're starting to trickle in. We're marking fish, getting some more hook sets. Things are happening. It's cool because his fish was just dark. Had a beautiful brunette paint job on it compared to the bigger one we got earlier is more of that blonde color. It's just cool to see the differences in all these fish, different patterns, different colors. We're going to drop back down, see if we can't lace into a couple more. Eight o'clock. It's early. It's early in the evening. Burby burbies. Love burbies. Pack! On again! This man is on a mission. Got a fish? Yeah. yeah. You got one on? Yeah. yeah. Smaller? I don't know, it's hard to tell. You want a deucer for me though? Before that hits. Oh. Um. Hey boys, what? might want to come on in here. This could be a good one. Good one. No, no, right there, dude. It heartbreak, I, heartbreak. It just took a massive, massive run. That was big and big fish, dude. <laughs> Trials and tribulations. Dude, I almost had him up to the hole too. Dang, life of a burbeteer. Win some, you lose some. Patrick's fish that just came unbuttoned oh. is now swimming down right beneath us to the depths. Ooh, torquing. Just hooked up to another nice burbot. There's some weight. I don't know how big this is. I haven't even seen it yet. Oh yeah, I see color. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, oh, oh. Fatty. That is a fatty. Japers. Oh. Woo -hoo. Greasy. Oh, they're just fat. Pretty fish. Another blondie. Gorgeous. Right in the yapper. Perfect. Back you go, sweetheart. Such an amazing fish. <laughs> Sweet! Just got a one ounce big nasty spoon. Slapping on a couple minnows. Gonna rip one in half to get a little scent. And bang the bottom. There it is. The meat wagon. Being that pout aren't too keen with eyesight, feel, scent, it's everything. So we're gonna load her up with some meat, glow up the spoon a little bit, drop her down and bang bottom, try to rattle a few in. Hooked up again, back to back. This one's got some pull to her too. God, these fish are so fun. Loading up the rods, testing the backbone. Ran into some good size, average size has actually been really good this evening. Each set the hook three times now. Another nice one, a little smaller, but a little bit. another fat and sassy participant tail first up the hole sheepers yeah he came and took a swipe at 
at Patrick there first, and then he just rolled right over and crushed the spoon. Bow. Beautiful. We're going to get that little leopard right back in the drink. Bye-bye, baby. Woohoo! Yes! The season of the burb. Yerbits, yerbits, burbits, ling lawyers, mud leopards. What a night! That was fun. Brothers for life. Brothers! We that, fought. We fought. The good fight. You are bicker like two little schoolgirls. Awesome night out targeting Burbit, getting out with some good buddies, setting some hooks, and something special we don't get to do all that often. And it's uh, definitely that small window you got to get out and capitalize on. Great time. Can't wait to get out and do it again. Love those pout. All right, we are in the kitchen. We did keep one burbot. It was kind of a bloodbath. It was bleeding everywhere. So decided to keep it and they are delicious, good eating fish. So we're gonna run through the process of how to clean an eel pout. And everyone pretty much knows you don't get a ton of meat off these fish. You're getting a back strap and then a, a piece of tail meat after that. So we'll clean off both sides. We'll end up with our strips of meat and we're gonna eat those tonight for supper. And I'm looking forward to it. I don't always eat pout. I probably only eat it a couple times a year, but it is delicious. We're gonna put her on the board here quick, clean her out, get her in the fridge for tonight and get everything prepped and ready. Let's go. After you've cleaned a couple eel pout and experienced that a little bit, you can almost just guess where to make an incision in that belly and cut straight down. So you're getting rid of that belly meat, you're getting a full back strap, getting all that meat, and then cutting down and getting the whole tail piece. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. I already did it on the one side, but if you look here, here you can see the bottom of the belly. All the guts are already out, so it looks a little flat right now, but this is the piece we want right here, and then all of this tail meat. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make an incision right about there where my finger is and get rid of all this skin. All that is is flabby skin. All of our meat is right up here in the top, that back strap. And then we're going to take that whole tail piece. All right, we got everything cleaned off the fish. We got the skin removed, removed the bones, rinsed them off, and now we cut it up into chunks. And here's the end result. We're gonna throw these little chunks of delicious fish into a bowl with some cold water, throw it in the fridge. Then we're gonna spice it up when we get home tonight for supper. Burbot is delicious, it's basically just cod. So if you guys have had cod before, you'd probably like burbot. A lot of the stuff you get at restaurants, if you order fish a lot of places, it's pollock, cod, that type of thing. So it is a delicious white meat. We're gonna try to whip up some sort of new recipe that I haven't tried before and uh, throw that on the stove top tonight. So more to come, let's get it in the fridge. Oh, there they are, burbot nuggets. All right, drain the water out. We got our fresh little nuggets of heaven here. A lot of people, you've probably heard boil their chunks of burbot in Sprite or 7-Up, Mountain Dew, something like that, a can of pop. We're gonna try something a little different and saute these chunks of burbot with a little kick. We're gonna add a little flair to it. Sprinkle a little brown sugar on top of those burbot nuggets. And then we're just gonna top her off with a little salt and a little cilantro. Nothing too crazy. We're just gonna spray down our pan here quick. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little sunshine on there, a little brown sugar. That way you still get the salty sweet without dumping a can of pop in it and boiling the pout. We're just gonna saute it quick on each side till it's done. Top her off with a little cilantro and 
collar good. Oh, so good. You can cook it a ton of different ways. Put it in fish tacos, pan seared it, fried it, boiled it, put it in the oven. Even put it in an omelet once, and honestly, it wasn't that bad. It sounds pretty gross, a bourbon omelet, but I'm telling you right now, I'd give it four stars out of five. It was not that bad. It was actually really good. Oh, delicious. Fun fish to get out after in Target. Very underappreciated species. And always a blast to get out end of the ice season and target these pout. Thank you guys for watching the video. As always, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.